taken a maggi break uh, the drive so far the roads have been pretty good but uh, the drive in itself was a bit hectic uh, first to get down from zero it has been raining overnight the entire mud has got converted into muck it is risky it is challenging uh, especially if you get stuck uh, it's a problem however made it through and then uh, came down all the way or a long section of clouds covering the road because of which uh, the visibility was really poor and you will see the footage uh, of how difficult driving conditions were with uh, rain uh, drizzle fog no cars there were landslides there were rocks fallen on the road uh, 78 kilometers it's showing another 3 hours to reach so i'm assuming that uh, the ride is going to be quite uh, quite quite uh, difficult uh, in terms of the curves and the height and everything so let's hope for the best right the in tawang yesterday and it has been foggy well that has been the trend wherever i go i carry the rains and the fog with me it happened uh, with me in zero then it followed me to dirang and now in tawang but having said that because of the little drizzle and fog the temperature has dropped drastically it's around 12 to 14 degrees right now and in the night it drops to about 4 to 5 degrees Welcome to Tawang Monastery built in the year 1681 by the 6th head lama This beautiful monastery is located at the center of Tawang. This monastery has great significance for all the Buddhist followers. The statue of Buddha was brought here from Tibet back in the 16th century. There's an interesting story on how the town was coined Tawang. Ta means horse and Wang means chosen. Back in time, the horse of the head lama in Bhutan went missing for a couple of days and was found at this very location. The horse was taken back to Bhutan but returned to this town once again. On this very note, the lama decided to build this monastery and name it Tawang. The monastery has years of history attached to it and instills a feeling of peacefulness as soon as you step a foot here. Welcome to another Gurudwara. This time in the region of Tawang. It is believed that uh, Guruji, during his visit in northeast, during his third visit in northeast, happened to come here and live at this Gurudwara. so i have climbed the top of this mountain to go and take blessings of guru nanak that's where he lived and he stayed before he moved on from here so he came from nepal into bhutan then over here stayed over here for a few days then went to nagula and then went ahead uh it's worth a visit it's a nice ambience it feels good it has a very positive vibe and energy you can come down and enjoy the amazing prasad that the people will give you over here for taking care some hot tea and then move ahead towards madhuri lake the 
welcome to Shongaseer Lake which got formed due to an earthquake back in 1971 it's a very picturesque lake uh, surrounded by mountain ranges on all sides it's a very beautiful drive uh, the landscape changes significantly from tawang as you proceed and come towards the lake you do not need any special permit or license to visit this lake so please uh, keep that in mind you can visit this irrespective if you go to bamla or you don't go to bamla pass having said that this lake is also known as the maduri lake please do plan it properly uh, you will take a couple of hours to reach here from tawa although the distance is not too large but that much time will go because you will stop on the way there are many many lakes in this area very beautiful lakes uh, very beautiful scenery there is a gurudwara which i showed you as well and uh, at the same point in time uh, you know you will want to capture uh, these moments as you come down to this lake It is so cold and windy out here at Sela Pass, which is the second highest motorable pass in India and considered to be one of the highest amongst one of the highest in the world. And they say that the weather here can change every ten minutes. Like right now, it's it's almost freezing cold. And why I say freezing is because today morning it snowed over here. I'm gonna get back to my car. I'm gonna drive down to Dheran. So today I will talk to you about the small little town of Derang. Derang is generally considered as a stopover town when you're heading to Tawang. However, in my opinion, I don't think it should be a stopover town, and you should spend at least two days in Derang. you have uh, the old and the new monasteries the new monastery is the one which was inaugurated by the dalai lama the 14th dalai lama himself it's something different something unique it's a very different design and architecture so i think you should visit it and you should see it especially during sunrise what else you can do in derang uh, you can visit the chuk valley right now i am in chuk valley and as you can see around me the chuk valley it's it's serene it's beautiful it's quiet there are hardly any people over here i think it's a good place to come and spend some time here A little short drive from Derang about 12 km or 15 km is the Sangti valley or the village of Sangti. I think that is one of the cleanest and the smallest cute little villages I came across. The valley in itself is beautiful. You have this old water which is flowing that's what derang offers uh, small small little pockets and gems uh, i don't think you should write it off as i said as a stopover you should definitely spend two nights over here and uh, if possible you can stay at the wangri homestay that's where i stayed i hope you also come and enjoy derang the way i did when i am in the morning at mandala top today it's time to go for a small trek to the naked mountains that's where i'm heading that house over there this is the grazing land you have a lot of um, animals grazing over there is so cool to just walk in an open land with all these yaks and horses and sheep all around grazing it's a beautiful beautiful feeling and a i think a beautiful opportunity to 
kind of blend with nature and that's something which you get here in this open space uh, of this grazing mountain mandla top is a quick drive from dirang uh, a lot of time people do a single day drive from dirang to mandla top but in my opinion i think you should spend a night over here but before you do that there are some things that you need to know mandla top is 28 kilometers from dirang it's a 1 hour drive it's a uphill drive it's on top of a mountain you can see amazing snow clad mountains all across if the sky is clear most of you would know it is famous for the 108 stupas which are inaugurated and installed over there but apart from that mandla top has a couple of more interesting places which you can probably explore you can also drive around and see naga jiji naga jiji has a monastery one very very old monastery and you need to do a small trek you have to cross about 108 small ponds to reach naga jiji So there it is, the itinerary. If you are traveling to Tawang, along with Tawang, you should have Dirang and Mandla Top in your itinerary, and you should cover these places at a slow pace. I hope you enjoy this uh, vlog, and in case uh, you don't want to miss on future vlogs, then I request you to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned.